Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Chrome and today I'm coming at you guys with another commentary. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is the struggle because there's a really big struggle when I moved to Canada since I'm from Europe and I moved to Canada 10 years ago when I was 5 years old and I can still remember that it was a big struggle but before I get into that I just want to let you guys know that I don't know if a live commentary will be going up today because I did get my monitor hooked up with my PS4 so that's good but Lizard Squad is still fucking around with the PSN and Xbox servers at I'm making this video so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a live commentary or just another video in general up today but I'm going to try and also the gameplay is saying it's nothing special it's at 26 and 7 but it was really laggy because I don't know why I lagged so much during this game I think I may have cut out most of the parts but I, I was really lagging and for the first round of domination of this domination match I was tearing shit up I got a merciless I think I want 11 and 0 but at the beginning of the second half of Domination, I think I lost my thumbs and I was playing like garbage. So I cut that out because it was just horrific to watch. And then at the end of, close to the end of the second half of the Domination match, I grew back my thumbs and I got another Merciless. So that's pretty cool. So you guys enjoy that in the background. And let's get on with the topic. So as I mentioned, 10 years ago is when I moved to Canada and when it was time for us to move there was a lot of shit going on because two years before our cousins moved to Canada and then we wanted to move really close together but we couldn't just because we weren't ready to move obviously they were ready faster than we were but anyways we had to stay back two extra years and I had to finish kindergarten in Europe I'm not gonna specify a location but I had to finish kindergarten and then we were getting ready to go and I actually had to finish kindergarten a bit early. I think I finished it a month and a half early. I didn't actually finish. I just left a month and a half early because we had to leave. But there was so much shit going on because just moving everything would be way too hard for us. So we had to leave pretty much everything Besides most of our clothes and some toys, obviously, because I still played with little Hot Wheels. But besides that, we had to leave everything back at our grandparents' house because we were living with them most of the time there. Just so we could stack up a bit more money more easily so that we could move to Canada faster. Because they said that they'd help us pay some stuff so we're like okay thank you for that and we had to leave some stuff back in Europe because of too much shit we, it's not like we're gonna carry my bed to Canada when we came to Canada we had limited supplies very damn limited and it was tough because I want to take so much shit. we all wanted to take a lot of stuff to Canada but we obviously knew that we couldn't so we had to leave more than half the stuff behind and when we got to Canada we had to live with our cousins for the first three months that's crazy living with your cousins for three months that's like very nice of them but I just kind of felt sorry for them not I now that I look back at it because they were paying for most of our stuff also because at that point we were just dirt poor we didn't have enough money to support a life but thanks to the help of our cousins and stuff like that my dad got a job really early on and he was able to make some cash and then we were able to buy an apartment the floor above them because they also lived in an apartment and then we had and then we started getting s settled in we were like okay that's getting comfortable now I'm we're getting okay with it we're getting used to the Canadian lifestyle and then the hardest part was definitely the winter because where I lived in Europe, there was no winters like the ones in Canada. It was crazy seeing it for the first time. But it was also really cool because I really liked the snow. So then we had an apartment and then we moved down one floor to the apartment beside our cousins the year after. So we were even closer with them. And that was really cool. And then after that, our cousins got a house 
and then we moved into their apartment so we had that side apartment which was like the biggest one on the floor and that at that point we we're just like okay this is sick we're now ready we're, we're ready to face Canada and this happened in 2009 when we got that and then this year we moved into a house but I'm gonna leave the moving into a house part for a another video because it's really interesting how I ended up moving into a house and it's more to it than you guys might think so that was pretty much the whole struggle that happened to me and my family when we moved to Canada and also I didn't have a sister when we moved to Canada so that was the good part and then I have to worry about a little bitch crying on the plane but anyways hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming to you guys soon thanks for watching guys and peace